Hello. You're watching my to-do about something today, and I'm Donna. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, and welcome back if you've been around for a while. Well, it's a rainy day. It rained last night, and it rained again this morning, so everything is really wet and muddy outside, and I have five grandchildren here from the ages of 11 down to 4, so... It's one of those kind of mornings for me. My, mo my morning's already planned out in that I've got to give them as much care as I can. They're all busy. Madeline's watching uh, her favorite TV show in there. So if you hear that, then just know that that's in the background. Well, with six kids, I've got a couple of them that want uh, eggs for breakfast. And then the others want the buggy pancakes. And by buggy pancakes, I mean I use this little pan right over here. This little pan that's got bug imprints on it. I use that. Uh, I've got it over here with the coconut oil on waiting for me to use it. I make eggs in a different pan than I do the pancakes in this pan. So I've got to get some eggs in here because Stormy was wanting to know if her eggs were done. I'm going to go ahead and get her eggs fried up and get them on a the plate for her. And then I'm going to get the pan ready and go ahead and mix up the pancake mix so I can get them fed this morning. I'm fighting a little bit of overwhelm today. I'm a little bit overwhelmed with everything that I've got to do. I'm a grandma, a grandmother of six. I raised three children, and you wouldn't think that I would ever be overwhelmed, right? But the garden's coming in. And I've struggled with trying to get that stuff put up, which is a tremendous amount of work in itself. Eggs are a little bit sloppy this morning. But if you ever put up a garden, if, you, if any of you have a garden and you're putting up your food, these are pickles that I made. I made some grape leaf pickles and some dill pickles. The grape leaf pickles have grape leaves in them and they have green grapes in them. And they're made with a salty brine. So I got a uh, five half gallons, so I got a gallon and a half of these pickles made up out of the cucumbers that come out of the garden. I was able to share some of the cucumbers and we've used them in other recipes. So that's how it's been. It's been uh, trying to get some of this garden stuff put up and use it. You know, you went, I went to all that trouble to raise it, me and Donald. We sure want to make sure that we get it uh, it up and, and, and use so that we can eat it and enjoy it. Of course, we've been enjoying fresh tomatoes, fresh cucumbers. He loves tomato and cucumber sandwiches, so we've had those for meals for a while. Like this. Get this right pan on here and get this pancakes mix mixed up for these kids. 
I don't know if you can see it because I got the soup. This is soup that I made out of the tomatoes. I made vegetable soup for dinner last night. And it was delicious. And it's going to be even better today. Here, Stormy. Your eggs are done. Pan's hot. It's really hot. It's hot. You gotta, you gotta hold, there you go. Hold it by the side. But I made the uh, vegetable soup. And we had that for dinner last night. And we'll be having that for lunch today. So I've got it heating up over here. So it's a little bit in the way. But I've got to get this. I've got to get this pancake mix and these pancakes done. These kids are getting hungry. I usually don't get overwhelmed. I mean, I'm a grandmother. I've raised three children. I'm experienced. So I know usually what all to do. But nearing the end of the summer when the kids have been out of school, making sure I didn't get a shell in there, um, can sometimes bring on anxiety feelings and a little bit of overwhelm because by this time I've already exhausted most of my tricks to keep the kids occupied. I add a lot of eggs to the uh, pancake mixture. But I've been trying to clean out. I've been going through. I went through my blankets. And I had a lot of blankets. But I've got them bagged up so that I can take to the animal shelter. I mean to the animal hospital. When I take Cookie to get neutered. Or spayed. Whichever one. He's, he's a male. But when I take him to get uh, fixed. I'm going to donate those blankets to the that animal hospital because they always appreciate those. That's usually where I donate extra blankets and things like that. They're only open on certain days and they're not open on the day that I have off. They're not open on Monday, so. So I'll have to try and figure out how to get Cookie to that um, vet, vet's office and donate those blankets. And it was our anniversary this month, so we had a lot of people. We had generous, fun anniversary things to do. and. I thank you to all my family that uh, helped us celebrate our anniversary and the sweet things that you did for it. I appreciate that so much. I ran a, ta a tight ship as a mother, but it seems like being a grandmother, I'm I'm a little more relaxed. My ship is not as tight as it used to be. But I do enjoy my grandchildren. I love them. But make no mistake, taking care of six grandkids is a lot of work. Taking care of the animals that I, he I have here to take care of. Gardening and trying to keep be a... a a good wife and a chaste keeper of my home. All of that is a lot of work.
let these pancakes cook. And I am dedicated to doing, the, you know, all those things that I love and care about so much and try to do them as best that I can. But it all can get, get a little overwhelming. It's a little overwhelming for me this morning. The house is a mess. I'm cooking breakfast for these kids. Well, it's really brunch. It's lunchtime here. It's a little after 12 o'clock right now. But this is what they wanted to eat. So we're having like a brunch. And of course, I'll have the soup that I made. And whoever else wants the soup will have the soup. But they requested the buggy pancakes and waffles. So that's that's what I'm fixing for them this morning. And you know, they fried eggs. They're um, adding eggs into that for the protein. And I got these uh, pickles done. I've got some green beans. I got 13 pints of green beans put up and I got some chicken broth. And I made vegetable soup out of these tomatoes. The, the tomatoes in this vegetable soup came out of the garden. It was the tomatoes that had little places on them and that I needed to make soup or do something with. So that's what I've got going on this morning. I mean, this today, this what I've been doing this morning until lunchtime. So I've just been steadily cooking, cooking from scratch, making homemade meals. That stuff takes energy. It takes time and energy. You can plan ahead. You th I can think ahead. Like I can always cook these pancakes and waffles and freeze them and just get them out and put them in the toaster. Right now I'm so tight on freezer space that I hadn't had... I thought it was just simpler to just go ahead and make them on demand than it would be for me to try to freeze them. So there I am, you know, trying to think of easier ways. Sometimes they're easier, sometimes they're not. I think you just have to do what works for you in your family. You know, I think that's what we have to do. Well, I hadn't had anything to drink this morning. I think that's, that's part of my problem. I'm going to go ahead and make a cup of tea and finish making these breakfasts for these kids and move to the next thing that has to be preserved. I think it's squash. Got a lot of squash this year. I've made uh, squash recipes. I've made zucchini boats and different things. But usually when I get an excess of squash, I make squash relish. And we absolutely love squash relish. So I may have to make that today. This is what the squash relish looks like. And I'm pretty sure I did a video on this, how to make squash relish. So if you look through my videos, you'll find the recipe for this squash relish. And it is just delicious. It is just good stuff. It's good on anything like a hot dog, on a, you know, if you're eating soup, pinto beans or chili beans. I mean, this is an excellent condiment. Uh, so that's probably what I'll do. This is made from the yellow squash. You can also make the zucchini relish. All of that is so good. So that's probably what I'll end up doing with the extra squash that we hadn't been able to uh, make into meals. I didn't uh, want to freeze squash this year because, you know, my I've got limited freezer space. I do try to can most things. I do freeze some things, but not many. Our freezer's really for our meat. That's uh, that's really what we use the freezers the most for, is to, to put our meat in. But that's what I've got going on here this morning. It's what I've got going on at the house with the six grandbabies today. Well, I've just got five of them today. I actually miss the other little grandson and hope he stops by today. Don't know if they will or not, but I love them dearly. It's good to see them. And when they come by, I will take time and visit with them because that's the most important thing to me is, you know, my family. I try not to stay so busy that I can't visit and enjoy the time that I have with them. I'll have that vegetable soup for lunch. That looks delicious to me. I think it's going to be an excellent lunch. And then I'll fix these pancakes and some fried eggs for these kids and let them enjoy those. And uh, 
just do what I can. I'm not going to worry about doing anything outside. I've already fed the animals. I had to feed the chickens and the rabbits, the dog that's outside. So I've already done that this morning, gathered eggs. So that's one task down and I'm working on the others. And I'll just get to what I can today and try not to feel overwhelmed by it all. Try not to feel like I have to get a lot done. I mean, it, it will wait. The produce won't wait. I have to go ahead and get that done in a timely manner. I have to feed the kids. But the rest of the sorting and the cleaning that I plan for today, I can just put that on hold. And uh, that's probably what I'll have to end up doing today. Because that's just the way it goes, isn't it? You have to plan out your day, your time, and um, try to get it all done. Sometimes the people think you stay at home or you're a homemaker that, you know, what are you doing all day, right? Well, I couldn't list for people what I do all day. You get a glimpse into my life because I, I invite you in here and I, I show you on the camera. But in overall general, uh, if you don't know, you don't know. You know, <laughs> it is, uh, it's just an ongoing, especially if you cook from scratch and you um, can and preserve and put up your food and then you have children to take care of. My three, grown, my three children are grown and married and they have uh, babies of their own. I have six grandchildren from 11 down to four and I keep them. I keep them whenever they need me to keep them. My daughters, I just keep hers part-time uh, because the other grandma on her, her husband's mother also enjoys those grandkids and we share those and we're friends and I'm glad to do that with her. And then uh, my little youngest grandson, he's my oldest son's child. Uh, he just comes a few days a week so I don't have him as much, but I really enjoy all of them. And then I have uh, three that I keep full time. And when school starts back, they'll be homeschooled this year, so they'll be coming at 11.30. When school was in, they, they came around 2.30. Um, but now they'll be coming at 11.30, which is fine. It's just a few hours. I mean, I'll get them to help me, and we'll incorporate uh, some of their schoolwork and stuff into our day. So that's no big deal, but I just have to adjust. I have to adjust to what I can run and do and get back before the time that they get here. You know, I still have errands to do, bills to pay, and some of them I still have to go uh, and handle things in person. I'm not doing everything online. And uh, that, that just, uh, I've got to try to get all the things that I do. I still like to do my own grocery shopping. I mean, I watch TV and YouTube, and I see these people that uh, have their groceries delivered, and sometimes they don't get what they're supposed to get. Of course, they credit that to the account and everything, but if that's in your dinner plan, or if that's something you planned on using that day, then that's just a hassle. I, um, I like to go do my own grocery shopping. I like to pick out my produce. You know, if I'm not getting it from the fruit stand or the farmer's market, then I want to go to the grocery store and pick out what I use. So if I'm not growing it, you know, and so I need a little time to do that. Still have drugstore errands, different errands, different things to do. And that time, I try to get that done before the little grandkids get here. I'm going to have to pull these pancakes off. I usually use my coated tongs to get these off, but I'll try not to hit this pan. I don't want to damage it. My kid, my little grandkids, just, they just love this little pan that makes the pancakes look, you know, have, have buggy uh, butterflies and bees and different little bugs are on the pancakes.
and they're small pancakes. They're not real big, so they, they eat quite a few of them. I know you can get these pans. There is a Nordic Ware pan. I know you can get this from Cracker Barrel or uh, just the Nordic Ware website. I'm not sponsored by them. I've had this pan for a long time. This is just something that we enjoy and something that the little grandkids enjoy for Grandma to make for them. And you can see the little bugs there on them. I'm going to serve them their pancakes. We're going to try to enjoy breakfast. I hope that you are inspired and motivated to get up and do something, if, whether you necessarily feel like doing it or not, whether you, you're overwhelmed. I hope this uh, video encourages you in some way to get up and do that. Thank you for joining me today and let me share what I got going on here with you. And you know, you're always welcome. You're always welcome to my channel and to see what's going on. If you've got something to say, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I love to read your comments. And like always, until next time.